Okay. I actually wanted to talk about something. Um, how's everyone doing on YouTube today? And I think this is actually funny, and this kind of came to my attention. And this is an ongoing process, so I need to put the facts out there. Vegans think we're herbivores. They think we are born herbivores and that the body was never meant to consume meat. Funny. You know what the funny thing is? There's a big difference between herbivores and omnivores. Yes, um, way big difference. We do not have herbivore teeth. Not one of our teeth is an herbivore teeth. And it's funny because vegans think our only meat-eating teeth is our incisors. And if that didn't exist, we'd have all herbivore teeth. Our front teeth and our incisors are both meant for penetrating. Our front teeth are not flat. They're not meant for grinding. They're meant for ripping into things along with our incisors. And the rest of our teeth, they're not meant for grinding plants. I hate to say it. You know that there's a difference between an herbivore's back teeth and the um, omnivore's teeth? Yeah, check this out. An herbivore's teeth is completely flat, like a grindstone, like flat blocks, all the way around, even the front teeth, going away all the way around. That's an herbivore's teeth. It's meant for grinding plant matter, which our body's not good at doing. Um, so that's why our body has a difficult time digesting raw vegetation. As a matter of fact, raw vegetation is bad for our digestive system. Many raw vegetables are actually bad for our digestion. Not good for it. Um, there are some vegetables we can eat and everything, but we weren't meant to consume raw vegetation. Um, well, at least not without the help of meat. See, here's the thing. And they think our whole digestive system, they think that is an herbivore's digestive system. There is a much big difference between that. I hate to say it. Um, ours is in, directly in between. Carnivores have short digestive systems and um, herbivores have really long digestive systems, longer than ours. Um, but yeah, back to the teeth. So anyways, our teeth are not flat. That's an herbivore teeth. I don't know if you knew this. And it's funny because when I learned about this, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, that's more than what they are um, leading us on to believe, you know. Um, they're making us think that um, we have herbivore teeth except these. And if they were taken out, we would be an herbivore completely. But here's the thing. Our teeth are more like a spork. Do you guys know what a spork is? You remember those back in school? Um, a spork's not exactly a, a fork and it's not quite a spoon. It, so they call it a spork. Basically, it has the needles like a fork at the end. But it has a, a round bowl on it like a spoon so it has those both those features well that's a lot like our teeth none of our back teeth or anything are flat they've got a bunch of ridges that's meant for tearing and stuff um and it helps us to grind things down but that's not meant for plants that's why when you use the bathroom nuts come out and some plants come out because we can't digest them that well nuts they're not digestible we can eat them. They come out with the rest of the waste, but they come out whole. That's why there's nuts in your poop because they can't digest. There, there's fiber, which helps them come through. They're high in fiber, but they're not really digestible. It's got like, um, it basically has the help of fiber that helps it come through. But some people end up getting surgery due to nuts, eating large amounts of nuts. Bad for your digestive system. Really bad. Um, and as for like salads and stuff, when you use the bathroom, salads also come out, but where's the meat? Why is it that only vegetables are, are coming out with that? You get what I'm saying? Because vegetation is not completely digestible in our bodies. We can eat some, uh, things like vegetables, you know, and some plants, some, um, but many raw vegetables are even bad for our digestive system. Many. Actually, raw vegetables aren't a good period for our digestive system. Some stuff we can eat. But I'm just telling you, yeah, um, our bodies were meant to digest both. See, the meat helps us when we're eating meat to digest plant matter as well. But not all plant matter. If we are herbivores, 
then we could graze among the fields. But we can't do that. We can't eat grass like any herbivore. All herbivores can eat grass. All herbivores can eat stuff like hay. They can eat any kind of plant growing. We can't. That would actually hurt our body really bad if we tried to eat stuff like grass. Yeah, we can't digest that. Um, so that's why we're not an herbivore. And uh, yeah, we can't eat on hay either. Like most of what herbivores eat, we can't, except for corn. Um, but we can eat all meat. There's not a single meat that's poisonous to us, but there's many um, plants that are poisonous to us completely that we should avoid that can kill us. Like the holly. What is that? The, um, you know, from the holly tree. Uh, the berries and all that, that's super poisonous. You know, um, yeah. And uh, don't eat poison ivory. Uh, poison ivy, sorry. Uh, speaking of ivory, though, I meant poison ivy. But speaking of ivory, you know that vegans say, well, if, if it's true that you have uh, canines, that's the only thing that makes you, um, you know, an, an omnivore, then why do hippopotamuses have canines? Hey, vegans, those aren't canines. They're ivory. They're meant for battle, not eating. Ivory, which grows are tusks. They're not teeth. They're meant for battle. Bone is meant for food and sometimes battle. And um, and then ivory is straight up battle. That has never been meant to consume any kind of meat. That's why it's always on the sides. Any animal that has tusks, it comes on the side. Um, but yeah, those aren't teeth. I hate to say it. And if you look at any animal's teeth, they're completely flat. Ours are not. They're jagged and rigid so they can crush in the meat and stuff. Um, and partially plant matter like uh, tomatoes, stuff like that. You know, bell peppers. Um, but other plants, yeah, we have a hard time digesting that. If you ever eaten a lot of salad and you look in the toilet, you'll see a lot of the green coming out like that because it's not fully digestible. We can digest, but not completely. That's why corn will show up um, in your poop. But it's funny that we never see meat, all this meat hanging out and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, so you see what's actually digesting and what's not. So I'm not saying that all, every um, vegetable will do the same. But many of them, they'll just show up like that. Um, lettuce, corn, nuts. You know, it plants and basically uh, vegetables, you know, and uh, nuts. So, but yeah, that shows you that if we were herbivores, it would not be coming out like that. Our poop would be coming out way different. I don't like to be talking about that subject, but I just wanted to let you know. And for our digestive system, yeah, plants really aren't the best for it. Um, you should eat vegetables to be healthy, but... Um, I would cook a lot of your vegetables. You can eat some, like bell peppers and stuff, tomatoes and bell peppers, you know, eating those things. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that has to get boiled down. You see what I'm saying? Like, for instance, corn. Corn, raw corn is really hard. And so people boil it. It's not meant to be eaten like that. We have to cook it to eat it. Like a lot of other vegetables. A lot of vegetables are meant to be... Uh, to be cooked but yeah i just wanted to talk about this and i thought it was crazy but uh i was looking this up before and um raw vegetables and all that you know that's part of one of the worst things for your digestive system it's actually on the top 10 chart um i was looking this up before and they're showing a list of bad things like coffee alcohol and stuff like that and then i seen um raw vegetables and i'm like wow so, yeah, and that's another reason why you guys can't consume grass, but other animals can uh, eat it, eat of it, of the nutrients. They can, you know, get the nutrients out of that. Um, that's why our body needs vitamins and minerals that are in both vegetation and meat, like iron. Plant iron is not the best for you. Um, animal iron is 
it has, uh, what do you call it? It has more stable iron. It's got um, heme iron. So heme iron is what your body absorbs mostly of. If you were meant to be an herbivore, then your body would naturally be able to absorb all the iron from the plants and you wouldn't need supplements. You wouldn't need fortified foods either. But if you eat a balanced meal, really I happen to take, I've taken no vitamins. I've never had to take vitamins. I'm still alive. You get what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, a lot of people that will eat like um, a lot of nuts will end up getting surgery because it's bad for their colon. So yeah, nuts isn't really the best thing for your colon. But I mean, you could eat things like um, trail mix. You know, I would eat it in moderation, though. Be very careful and uh, be careful with some of the harder nuts. Like, I like pistachios and everything, but I would still be careful, guys. Um, because too many nuts could cause uh, problems and maybe could create cuts and tears. You know, you never know. I mean, so just be extra careful. I mean, they could end up in pockets and, you know. Um, so I would just eat them in moderation. I mean, trail mix, you should be fine with that. Um, if you eat it in moderation and you don't overdo things. Um, but yeah. Yeah. We are omnivore. Anyways, I was trying to keep the video short and it ended up being a long one. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And this is another reason why you know that we're an omnivore. So look online, look up about your body and stuff. Check the sources, guys. And don't trust what every vegan's going to tell you because they're not your doctor. Okay? They're not a pharmacist. Though vegans will try to pretend like they're certified in all this. Um, but yeah, I would definitely um, check online, speak with the nutritionist. And, uh, you know, you can speak to your doctor and all that, you know, if you're unsure about certain things. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much. And remember, subscribe to this channel and my main channel. Thank you, everyone, and see you all next time.